Alright, so, I know I didn't, I, I know I told you I wouldn't do any more gaming, but this one, I needed to. For those who know me, I play World of Tanks Blitz, and, um, this 5.5 update. I hope they get, I hope they get rid of it. I hope they take everything back, alright? They got rid of a few tanks. A few. Mm, a lot of good tanks, alright? For example, they got rid of the... I'm gonna name off a few, alright? They got rid of the Jumbo. You know you, you know what I'm talking about. The M4 Jumbo. They replaced it with the E8. The half-retarded version. With garbage armor. They got rid of the T1 Cunningham. They got rid of all the Tier 1s. And replaced them with the Tier 2s. They got rid of the T2 medium, they got rid of the M2 medium, they got rid of the AT1 for Russia. They got rid of the, they got rid of the Lutzwagen, or the Loops, the lunchbox. They got rid of that for Germany, alright. They got rid of the T150, and I didn't play that much one on the T150, but still, you know. And the thing is, they were going to get rid of howitzers. Alright. That's, I can see that, but that doesn't mean you have to get rid of the entire tank, All right? I can understand with, like, maybe the MS-1, maybe, but why the T-1 Cunningham? That was my first tank, and I loved that thing to death, All right? I, I sold it once, and I bought it back, and I never sold it again, because it's not with me anymore, it's they got rid of it. God damn it. But they got rid of the T-40. Which is a very fun tank to destroy. They kept the 76mm uh, rifle on it. Which I used most of the time because it was awesome. Um, they got rid of the T-46. The T-28 for Russia. The T-46 for Russia. They got rid of the UE-57. Now for those who don't understand what that thing was... It is the cute it was the cutest little tank destroyer ever. It was absolutely adorable. It was the time it was the smallest tank in the game. Smaller than the UCPDR, which they also got rid of. I think. Comment below if I'm wrong, but I know I promised I wouldn't do any more dip you know, any more game reviews or anything like that. But this one was an emergency. I needed to do it. Now. Let's get back to what I was gonna. S Let's get back to my regular scheduled program here. Copenhagen Mint. What else can I say about it? It's beautiful. All right. It's probably my main dip. All right, because I haven't bought open stuff. Damn. Anyway, back to that. All right. <laughs> um, the uh, Copenhagen Mint tastes. Awesome. Not as good as Stoker's Mint, though. Stoker's Mint holds a strong place in my heart. Where the hell is my heart? Ah! The yeah, yeah. Right? So, anyway. Continuing on, um... It's not that bad. It's actually, I'm on uh, a scale from 1 to 10. I'll rate it a 9. Definitely ain't the worst. Skull Mint is. Alright, um... I did try, um, that Grizzly, I tried Grizzly Mint, didn't like that at all. Sorry guys, but I'm not a big Grizzly fan. Copen, Copenhagen, however, this stuff, I like. Now, I want to see your reaction in the comment section, alright? Do me that. Because my last tobacco review, I didn't get a damn comment, and I got one dislike. No likes. Tell me what I'm doing wrong, and I'll see if I can do it better. Alright. For those who, well, I'm just going to say it. This is Robert Kushma, signing out for today.